Hey guys, welcome back to another brand new episode of my Hardcore Iron Man series. This is the second part of my temporous grind. In this episode we will continue to train our fishing level and then use all of our reward points in the hope that we will get some nice uniques. Let's go! I saw a lot of you guys are how I can maintain to play so many hours per day without getting burned out. You must see it from my point of view. Normally I was used to do stuff like Warcraft or Zolra for 10, 12 or 14 hours per day and those activities are really really exhausting, especially if we compare them to Temporos or Wintertop. So what I'm currently doing is probably really time intensive but far less intense in general than before. So whenever I got some orders to train people's accounts I was really happy because it was a nice change compared to the other activities like Warcraft. But to earn more money of course I trained many accounts at the same time. The only limitation was basically how many clients my PC can handle. In our internet shop we could do like 4 clients per each PC. I used to do 3 winter top clients and 1 for nightmare zone. Sweet! 78 fishing. Nice. Really nice. Yeah so that's why Temporos is for example really really chill for me. It's far away from being intense for myself. Training your own account is of course a lot more fun than training the account of the customer as well. Oh man, look at this boy. Man, I wish I get this pet. Temporos is definitely under my top three of favorite pets. I'm like 2k permits now, so this will be my last round, I guess. I could get a more, but then I would need to let you wait even more for the next episode. I want to start to upload daily or at least every second day. There we go. 83 fishing. Sweet. Absolutely brilliant. This is a pretty good level for to use up all the reward points because the higher your fishing level Level is the better your fish drops will be. Here you can see my playtime again, seven days now. So basically four days I grinded on Temporos. So not that much, totally fine I guess. Of course it's just worth it when now the loot is decent, otherwise screw Temporos. <laughs> so yeah, now you will see how I use up all the points. Of course I speed up the recording. This opening session took me alone 40 minutes if I remember correctly. But yeah guys, enough time to talk about really serious topic now. Okay okay so where should I start? So you guys know I wanted to show some common account building strategies for account trainers. So you guys can see some insights how the underground market of RuneScape works and, and so you guys see as well what I did in the past pretty much every day. One thing many customers always asked for was a Beagloves ready hardcore Iron Man account. So basically an account which has already all requirements done for B Barrel Gloves. This was also one of the things I did very very often in the past. So I have a lot of experience with questing in general too. However, to make it short, I plan to do exactly this on the next episode of my Hardcore Iron Man series. So basically a few episodes how I'm finishing all the requirements for Barrow Gloves and doing all the quests for that. I thought this could be amazing content for you guys and pretty entertaining too. I mean you guys know about my situation here in Venezuela. My electricity is bad, my internet is not the best and my PC is is also really really old as well. I saw a lot of comments from people who said that I couldn't survive with such a setup as a hardcore Iron Man because even the pro players have their issues with disconnect such thing. As an account trainer in Venezuela it's true you lose a lot of accounts because of disconnects and such things but I had a decent rate and successful doing barrel gloves on hardcore Iron Man's too so I thought why not on my own account too. People wanted to donate me money so I can't buy a new PC so I don't die with my heart, at least not because of my bad PC or, or internet connection. But you know from the start I denied donations and such things. My pride stood in my way. I hoped I could make it with this setup until I get and so I could earn my own money. But other content creator warned me already. They said that monetization might not be enough and donations and Patreon or such things are a must if you want to do this as a full time job. So you might have seen that my videos now have ads on them. The good news is I got monetized which is really good. Here you can see how much I earned with my Hardcore Iron Man series episode 2 video. It is longer than 10 minutes so the ad revenue is higher. I earned like $20 with it, which is nice. I think when it stays like that, this would be good. But with this, it will be pretty hard to you know, save some money for a better setup because we are multiple people. We need that money for food and water and other basic things. It is not really possible to save money from there. So back to the main reason why I'm telling you all this. Yesterday I was creating the next episode of my Hardcore Iron Man series and suddenly my PC crashed. It just turned off while I was doing a quest and I was in the middle of a fight. And yeah, when I got 
back into the account, the account was dead. I felt really, really bad. Not really because of the account, because it wasn't advanced already. Of course, it has 99 and 7 days playtime, but I could easily redo it. What really hurt it was the fact that I thought I could do this in the long term. Even my setup was so bad. I need a decent setup to produce quality content and to survive as a hardcore Iron Man as well. That's why I will follow all of your requests to create a Patreon so you can support me. The link to my page you will find in the description. In return of that support I will start to use Patreon for several other projects in the future where you will have an early access on. I hope with the ad revenue and Patreon together I can gather enough money to buy a decent new setup. Now back to Temporals. So as you can see so far I wasn't lucky. I used up 1000 reward points but I had no Dragon Harpoon or a Tome of Water and of course also not a the Temporals pet. So far I only got the big Harpoon fish which is basically garbage and the tackle box. So now let us check how rare these uniques are. Eduardo will put in the picture. So as you can see the chance of getting a soaked page is 1 in 50 and I got plenty of them, which is good. But sadly, no tome. Next, the fish barrel. The chance of getting it is 1 in 400. The barrel is able to store a maximum of 28 raw fish of any type, but no harpoon fish. One of the uniques I got is the tackle box. There is also the chance in 1 in 400 to get it. It's basically a storage box for various of fishing equipment. Another unique I got is the big harpoon fish. It has a chance of 1 in 60 hundred. The tome of water has basically the same rarity. I wish I got it instead of the big harpoon fish. Next is tiny temporos. He has a chance of 1 in 8000. And the last unique is the dragon harpoon with the same chance. Now it's really interesting to compare this with winter Todd. The tome of fire has a chance of 1 in 1000. The phoenix pet the chance in 1 in 5000. And finally the dragon eggs has a chance of 1 in 10000. So you can say that the Tome of Fire and the Phoenix Pet are easier to get if you calculate it per crate. But of course you must also consider the time until you get one crate or one reward point. As you can see in my inventory now, I got a fish barrel as well, which is great. With the Winter Tot crates it was different than this time. Last time I got instantly the Tome and pretty fast also the Pet, so I was really chill there. But this time I was really nervous because I didn't get the things I wanted yet. But I continued hoping that there was still the chance that I could get it. Although I was now under 500 permits. A really good decision was to train my fishing at over level 81. Because otherwise I would get a lot of low level fish. But now you can see in my inventory only sword fishes, sharks. Which is really great, I can train my cooking with that later. And you also shouldn't forget that we can use the nails and the planks for construction. We can even start to train crafting. These are really great things for an Iron Man account. You are also probably wondering what happens now with this account because it's dead. I will definitely not throw it away, rather I will use it as, as a normal Iron Man. I will probably prepare another hardcore Iron Man for the time when I got a new setup so I can start again with it. But in the meantime I will do some crazy things with the normal Iron Man. So at this point I had 120 permits and no other uniques yet. So I was really hoping that there might be another unique showing up. But yeah, I already told you that in the Winter Todd episode. What matters to me mostly is the experience points. I want to max out my accounts and that is my main goal. Of course I could do now only the efficient methods and such but I'm I'm really focusing on some different and entertaining methods to train up my account. So yeah, as you can see, no more uniques. In total I opened 1980 rewards. And this time of course I wanted to show you the price of everything. Here you can see the price check of the main loot. We got a lot of really expensive fish and that's why we made like 9 mil. So with that I was really happy in general. But then I saw that all those chests are still left, so I had to open them as well. I couldn't price check all together, so I did it separately. At the end I will show you the total amount of GP we made. Basically a lot of necklaces, amulets, bracelets, gems and rune armor are in those chests. So really expensive stuff. Here you can see the first price check of 700k. Then I opened all the remaining chests which brought me another 400k. As you can see here in the price check. Okay guys, thanks for watching again. This is the end of this episode. The next episode will be up soon. I hope in two days or maybe even tomorrow, sadly not as an hardcore Iron Man, rather with a normal Iron Man. Now you can see here the total amount of GP I made with Temporos basically in 4 days, 4 days of playtime, 9.7 mil. So it's definitely not a money maker in general, but yeah, it's nice to have if you do it anyway. So for Iron Man, I mean there's a lot of XP in this loot.
cooking, construction and crafting. Okay guys, that's it then. I hope to see you all really soon again. Bye.